Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. All right, hello and welcome back to Command and Conquer Zero Hour. It's been a while. It's time for our yearly shoutcast. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the annual venture um, back into the lands of Zero Hour. So quite excited to be here. We mm -hmm. hope you are well and have been well. And the good thing about casting practically on a yearly basis is that like oh every year there's a new world series oh, hey! it's, uh, 2023 yeah. world series this time not ever really struggling with replays because we could always find something decent mm -hmm. when we we're shout casting well probably when we we're shout casting a lot a lot it was a little bit difficult yeah um but then we we're switching between games a little bit more often so it was mm -hmm. less of a problem anyway yeah semis right yeah, yeah so our timing is notoriously bad because the grand final is being live streamed in like nine hours mm. but we're just like hey you free want to hang out yeah let's cast some games so we're just casting the semi-finals and by the time these are posted i'm sure the grand final will be all up and done but nonetheless um i'm sure people are keen to watch us cast because dominators he's a great caster but he's it, cool. is he is he as good as the general's gentleman oh it's a big question so yeah i mean he's certainly more consistent that's <laughs> so, true yeah. yeah yeah he's overtaken us yeah. by a lot on the sub count feels bad man but well earned he's, he's very prolific yes yes go over and check him out he's a cool dude um yeah we got a fargo and vivid so it'll be fun mm -hmm. and this is a best of a billion series so hmm. Um, I think it's a best of 13. Just just my guess looking at how many replays there were. Um, there, there's a lot bet between like this and the other semi-finals. It is nice that you can... Uh, I don't know. I think it makes it more consistent when you can go for that many games. Like not, not every series, like StarCraft for instance, can go for that many games. Um, just because of like the inconsistent lengths of, of, of Zero Hour. And it's like always fun. It's always interesting. You can go for longer series. Mm -hmm. All right, back cap here. Done for vivid. Well, I think he's fully walled off his his workers, so no luck there with the technical. Yeah, benefit of those fake buildings. Um, yeah. So at the north we have vivid. Uh, I have a feeling that's not his his real name. Yeah. Um, and at the south, it's Fargo. Now, oh, did you catch what factions forward. they were? Um, someone's Tox, and I think... Oh, yeah, yeah Tox. Like, so he's... Yeah, Tox. Fargo's Toxin. Yeah, Fargo's Tox, and I'm guessing Vanilla... Could be, yeah. Oh, he's Demo, look. Oh, yeah, no, he's Demo, nice. Cool. Good catch. Feels bad. It, it wouldn't be a game of zero hour if there wasn't a building on 100% that wasn't complete. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, just like to the caps at the moment. Um, some real buildings make sense for a GLA game, and... Uh, not a lot of capture denies that we've seen, so a lot of cash in the bank for both sides, and you know everyone's kind of capping their own stuff, which is good. Yeah, this is hard to keep keep up with all the action. I think this is something really unique about GLA mirrors in like all of RTS games in general. It's like really the only kind of matchup I can think of where there's just so many like simultaneous battles mm. across different locations mm. on the map. And it's all because of tunnels. Like in, in other matchups in, in Zero Hour, you don't really see that. Um, you know, maybe you'll have two battles at most. Yeah. In Zero Hour, yeah. it's just a, a GLA mirrors. There's like battle over here, or technical over there, or tunnel over there. Yeah. And they're playing this without a radar. Uh, it really shows the level of these players. Yeah, I remember the probably one of the most mind blowing moments for me was like finding out that the the pros bound um, map locations to their hotkeys so that they can flick between them and like fight different engagements because they were playing without a minimap. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. So, yeah, I think yeah. it's like the F keys. Yeah. Like control F1, control F2. I think that's how it works. Tight, good map control. Small advantage to Pargo at the moment. It makes sense. Um, Tox tunnels. Tox Rebel should have a bit of an advantage in terms of these oh. captures early on, so I'm not surprised that, that he's a little bit in front. Yeah, we didn't really get ease into this series, did we? Like, nah, it would, nah, it would have been out. nice if they gave us a No Rush 10 game to start <laughs> off with, so we could like, have the time yeah. to catch up, you know? Watch someone build like 10 Patriots. Like, yeah. Uh, could have been a little bit better. Just a nice warm up game. Oh. Yeah, no wall off on the second side. Good catch by Fargo. Hard to wall off both. 
Did you see that lazy tunnel? Not even shoot those. Yeah, yeah, people? yeah. That guy was yeah. definitely in the grab on the job. Okay, well, a lot of scorpions for the toxin player. Um, has the toxin upgrades, has the rockets, but also scorpions from the the demo player from from Vivid. Yeah, rockets as well. And I think this should lead to a small advantage for, for the Vivid, but at the moment, Fargo's positioning is just better. Interesting to see him like even capturing the oil derricks a fair bit closer to Vivid and forcing him to contest. I just think it makes a lot of sense when you've already got your scorpions out of the tunnel network. It's it's much harder for um, Vivid to to pop with the risk of um, splash damage. So that supply makes sense. It, I don't know if it paid off just because the amount of workers that popped out. Um, at least some of those supplies are being collected away from Fargo. He's got heavy pressure on the left hand side. Ooh, Tech Terror. Is this our first Tech Terror of the series? Yeah, I think it was. Um, I mean, makes sense. I don't know if it's a worthwhile investment at this stage in the game. That's You're talking about a lot of Scorpions. Obviously taking out the... The longer the game goes, the better that's going to be. But at the moment, it seems like Vivid's really far behind in the, in the Scorpion count. going to be forced to finish the pop here. Trades fairly evenly overall, which is nice, and the rest of the scorpions out from, from Vivid and Tecago still has a queue inside of his tunnel network. So it's a, a nice cleanup and a couple of scorpions that are gonna get double scraps, so double rockets. Palace there for Vivid, so we're gonna see some battle buses soon. As for Fargo, that's his palace there a yeah, little, palace going little later. Too. And also we could see demo bikes. We yeah, we yeah, haven't seen we any are. of those yet, have we? Yeah. No, not yet. Um, I mean, Tech Terrors are just a, well, it's a more consistent way, we'll say, to take out the, the oil derricks by themselves. And, and I do like that, that Vivid, is building bikes anyway, is using some of them to rebel cap up the, the back oils. Um, it's kind of keeping Fargo a little bit on the, the defensive because he's got to, got to deal with the aggression and recap, so it's preventing him from pushing into Vivid's base. Okay, this is the the technical whip full of terrorists. Yeah. Oh, dodges. Oh no, he doesn't. Right. <laughs> well, he gets a barracks. Yeah. So, <laughs> how do you defend a tech terror? Well, with the terrorists. Yeah, That's with the, the terrorists, answer. of course. Yeah. Just yeah. put a terrorist in front of all of your buildings. You attack ground, and then you just blow up tech. Yeah. It's great. There's also yeah. nice tunnel positioning. There was tunnels really close to these oils. So. Yeah, it would have been would have been tough to take it out regardless. So. He um, he almost, I think, got the the arms dealer. Maybe that was his best option. Um, yeah. And I think we're, we're just about to see the game stabilize a little bit. Sometimes it happens in these GLA mirrors is, is you get these like weird three prong attacks and then it kind of forms into a, a battle line and then it's trench warfare. Mm. Um, and then, and then, and then it kind of comes down to black markets yeah. and scud storms basically, right? A lot of targeting of, well, attempted targeting, we'll say, of the... Wait, that's... Here we go. Did that get captured? Oh, that's right. No, no, oh, he, no he just rebuilt built that it one. here. Yeah, yeah okay, right. There's a demo bike. Interesting choice. Yeah, so the demo bike's okay. good at sniping um, scorpions, yeah. especially if they're if they're splashed up. Um, don't quite have the, the, the firepower to take out, like, a building compared mm. to, like, a tech terror, but still... Um, very good. Jarman gets to snipe on the battle bus, but yeah. it is quickly recruited. There is a Jarman out for Vivid as well. Don't worry, easy could be inside the tunnel network. That's the name of um, Vivid Wireless, right? That's what we used to stream. Yeah, with yeah, stream with. Yeah. With before wireless. we had like. Thanks, Vivid wireless. <laughs> before we had fiber optics here yeah. in, in Perth, yeah. we had to use wireless, like 3G internet to stream. Because it was faster than my like, 80 or something. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad, man. Okay, there's still a bit, a bit of an enclave here in the corner. Um, protect... Oh, no, not protected by booby traps. It's uh, actually booby traps of, of Vivid. Booby traps by Vivid, yeah. yeah. So it's preventing any scorpions from pushing out, which is nice. But I mean, Australia's internet used to run on, like, copper and dreams. So yeah. <laughs> at least now we've got a bit of fiber, which is good. Yeah, you need a bit of fiber in your diet. Yeah, it's true. Now, this is the demo Jarman. I don't know if he's no! taken any buildings. I'm but I'm he can. 
Not popping inside Battle Buster seems like the right move, and it's a counter jamming out from Fargo. Okay, Battle Bus is going in. There are a lot of RPGs on the ground. Oh, that Battle Bus just survives. Yeah, Can great. heal in the tunnel. Look at this cool uh, firing arc. Yeah, the buggy tech up over the high ground. Fargo, so. He has a radar van. I don't know why it's oh, not. Oh, Jarman was... counter snipe. Yeah, nasty. I know he's looking for like counter scans or what the go is, but it doesn't need to deal with his bad demo traps in the north. Kind of rolling in blind. Oh no, there oh. we go. No, he did. He scanned it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Nice. Yeah. Is oh no, the he, tunnel? Oh, oh the dude, no, it is. It's the tunnel. It. Yeah, you're right. It must have been right. on like manual detonator. Yeah. Thinking. Would have been. Or maybe the building doesn't trigger it if it's automatic. What a weird game. Okay, there is a good uh, demo bike play. Gets three scorpions. Battle bosses from Fargo gets knocked to its shell in the south. <laughs> And uh, no Jarman support here anymore with Whoa. the counter snipe. You seeing that bug out? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I'm What's watching. What's going so, on? Yeah. yeah. Looking at income. Decent. A bit of an advantage for Fargo here, I think. Kind of hard to tell with players like spending as much as possible, but yeah. Two black markets for Vivid, I think. Still has an oil derrick. Uh, Fargo has one oil derrick and one black market. Control of the middle. Yeah, yeah control of the middle, though, so, so yeah, that's pretty another, significant. Another oil derrick but, oh no, they're more black more. markets. Yeah. Wow, these, these are looking kind of exposed. Yeah. But I guess there are a lot of choke points in the tunnels here. Is that a tech terror going to take out the oil? Oh, they all gets gunned down by the with the toxins and the and the tunnels. Unsuccessful. A little lazy push in the north here from Fargo. He does have the Jarman kind of standing by. A couple of shots for workers. I don't know if we've seen a rebuild yet from uh, Vivid. There's cash for it. Oh, big German yeah. snipe. Whoa, another tech terror. What is he doing? Could have got the black market there. I yeah, seems like a better choice. Big focus on the tunnels. Of course, it opens up to future aggression. So at least now the black market and the tunnel are exposed. Exposed. It's gonna help. Kind of arts demo trap still in the area for Vivid protecting. Another one. Wow, he is not giving up the terrorist. Yes, yeah, big commitment. Looks like he will get it this time, or maybe not. It'll be close. No, no. third terrorist didn't get through. Close. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of workers. They yeah. must be from all of these supplies that have all mined yeah, out. Yeah, they've all mined out. Scudstorm going down now for Fargo. Well, buggy ammo done as well. Anthrax, I thought it's gonna be dodged. Nice. <laughs> the tunnel must be full. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Well, Scudstorm for Fargo. First Scudstorm of the game. Pretty good choice. Um, we're at a kind of point of stability where a single Scudstorm is gonna cause some pretty big damage, um, especially with Vivid, well he's on, on kind of two areas but he's quite squeezed in where the, the Black Malkut count is and his original base. Five minutes on the Scudstorm, let's put a timer on, he's a big pop from Vivid. Oh this must be, um, did it start on five minutes? Yes, it started on five minutes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. yeah that's right, I was thinking yeah. six minutes. No, that's yeah. that's like one point six minutes. Yeah, 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 six minutes, yeah. Five minutes on the timer. Should be about ten, but that's alright. Yeah. We'll, we'll oh, Toxin <laughs> Rebel Ambush. Yeah, yeah, pretty Not standard amazing. counter with all these buggies. He only got one of them, I think. It's the minimal. Yeah, very... like level one. So, very yeah. fast response, keeping yeah. them moving. Yeah, that was well good. Played. Uh, and there's a Jarman here too. But that is actually That's, the Jarman of Fargo. Yeah, he, he must have lost it up north and then rebuilt it.
Good job from the buggies. I mean, still having critical mass is really nice because you can essentially just snipe down tunnel networks, black markets. They, they're going to go down a couple yeah. of volleys. Even that Scud Storm's a little exposed. It, it is pretty yeah. tough though, so it will take several volleys to take it down. Yeah. Oh, Anthrax bomb. Yeah, there's the Anthrax. Oh, the Battle Bus gets taken out. Yeah. Still wasn't too bad, mainly just losing that Battle Bus. Yeah. But it has bought time, and this may secure the Scud Storm. More tunnels are being built in front of it for defense. It still has this little corner base. Good defensive move. We'll see what happens when the Anthrax actually wears off. Whether we get another pop coming out from Vivid. He probably would have replaced the buggy count at this point, so he's probably up on 10. Just one better while popping out from Vivid. Hopefully save those RPGs from the other one. Second Scud Storm. Yeah, interesting choice. I would have thought it would be a, a way to deal with the buggies coming in from Vivid. Or a defensive tack here from Vivid. Just cleaning up some of the northern tunnel networks from Fargo. Makes them a little bit less vulnerable to pressure. Oh, good buggy micro. Yeah, He's really never really micro. got them caught. Yeah. What he really needs is a bunker helix, but unfortunately he's not trying. <laughs> I don't know. You call in a favor, I guess. Yeah. Also, swag points for using the demolitions ability. That's like the rebel ability on on the um, the refinery. My heart was so broken that day that the guy said that you can't stack refineries. Isn't that lame? <laughs> Super lame. Ruined all my dreams of building a cool map. All right, this is a nasty, this is nasty. I mean, it's a bunch of bikes that you, I mean, we can guess where they're going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, going straight for the yeah, Scud Storm. Yeah, and we're getting the evacs coming in from the bikes A lot of well. bikes. A lot of buggies too. It yeah, is getting low, and a rebel ambush. Yeah, it's enough, yeah. He's committed a lot, but he does take out the Scud Storm. I think it's pretty worth. Uh, even this palace is within range. There's actually quite a fair bit of units here from Fargo, but they aren't attacking just yet. Yeah. Another rebel. Oh, sorry. Another uh, two demo attacks ready to go. Target mm -hmm. down some. Now let's see black if markets. The, those terrorists could bait out the Jarman for a Jarman counter snipe. He's definitely looking for it. <laughs> the tunnel might reveal him. Nah, he's good. He's good micro here. Argo, avoiding the... Sorry from Vivid, avoiding the... Or the new tunnel network? Oh, <laughs> Whoa, it's gotta be no, close. but that's his friendly one. Yeah, no, but it's still gotta be close. Like, yeah. He must... Oh, yeah. no, the Jarman wasn't paying attention. Oh, no! Don't he, he missed his shot. Yeah. Oh, he just killed it. He killed his yeah, own Jarman to get three buggies. Worth three buggies. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, good trade. Technically worth it. Yeah. Um, I mean, not only financially, but just to avoid the, um, the, the the stack of buggies coming in. Like now, Fargo doesn't have uh, critical mass. Yeah, a bit of the timing. Yeah, yeah, it's timing based. If you can use that to just take down a couple more tunnel networks, it's definitely worth. Obviously, has the problem of not having a Jarman up for a little bit, but yeah, I don't think it's an issue. This is a better defended Scud Storm in a better location. Um, yeah, there are tunnel networks. There, no, 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 the southern one. The, um, oh, the tunnel one? network's sting aside, it's behind the oh, supply. Yeah, like, yeah. you can see the problems of trying to get bikes in there or getting a nice angle with buggies. He's defending his yeah. Skullstorm with a black market. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, whatever works, works. Um, but it's really nice. It's Really, we've got to see Vivid get on top of that. If he would like to take out the Skullstorm, I'm guessing that's the plan. Um, before it goes down to time, uh, yeah, okay, this is what we need to see. We need to see the tunnel start getting softened up, otherwise he's just never going to have the time. <coughs> well, well. If it throws down a, a scud storm of his own, um, is a tiny bit later than Fargo, but it doesn't matter. Like scud storm for scud storm, um, both are going to be able to fire it. Assuming Fargo goes off first. He anthraxes the tunnel, and this may open up um, a big attack here. But there still are several. Tunnels, also a stinger site. It must be to protect him against bunker helixes. Yeah, well, they are dangerous, so. 
do hate when I'm in the GLA mirror and the bunker helix comes in to take out my scuds from them, so yeah. It's all unexpected. Yeah. I'm guessing they have like a lot more range than tunnels. That's probably why he's got them. For, um... I think they're useful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna limit buggy mobility. It's yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's a good choice. I mean, has to defend for two minutes. We'll probably have another toxin rebel ambush available as well. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I don't see Vivid pulling this one off. Um. Again, he's like he, he's focused back north again, and maybe that's pulling a little bit of the attention from Vargo. The fact that he didn't get these tunnel networks destroyed before because of the defensive work from Vargo, like this, lets them get knocked to the hole and then counterattacks with his own buggies. Um, oh, there's a toxic rebel ambush. Um, not amazing, but nah, not great. Buggies are already few. moving, so. Wow, he's putting quads now. Quads. I guess quads are pretty good meat shields because they have um, like rock rocket resistance. resistance. Yeah. Well, I have to be in the correct spot for that to work. Okay, now we're going back to Battle Buster. This is going to be a big fight. Buggies from Vivid uh, are doing so much damage here. Fargo's army is collapsing. That's a really good aggressive play from Vivid. It's going to get the double E back as well, so these RPGs get saved. I don't know about moving them forward against. Okay, he's chipping away at a fair bit of the base. Yeah, but it's tunnels, man. Like, yeah, it's fire. Scud storms are going to come up soon. I mean, honestly, Fargo could just hold the Scud Storm as a threat against the buggies. It's going to again, like, what are you going to do? How are you going to go aggressive? He's up on Scud Storm down. Eighteen seconds. Apex bomb? Oh, he's cutting off the reinforcements, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Got in the tunnel beforehand. So there's some very nice engagements with Rivered, very cost uh, efficient. But one second on the Scud Storm, does he use it? Yeah, where are you firing? I think holding is good. I'm hoping he holds it until the second one's ready. I don't know. Okay. Alright. I don't know what the target is. I mean, yeah. Scud Storm on Scud Storm, maybe? Black markets. There's a lot of black markets. Yeah. Oh Where's he going? There it is. Yeah, it's, I guess the palace. Palace. Yeah, that wasn't very good, was it? Nah. I mean, he's just knocking stuff down to holes. I mean, not just the tunnel networks down. I just, I don't know if he has the army to capitalize on that. I, I don't like, love the use. Of it. After the engagement, like, that would make sense if Fargo had enough troops to actually destroy the holes. Um, Well, okay, I don't think Vivid. Vivid might be taking this game. Yeah, he's ahead. Yeah, I was hoping the Scud Storm usage would be better. He's definitely ahead. Um, two Scud Storms are going to come online pretty much simultaneously for all that matters for Fargo and Vivid. That's in about 45 seconds. I hope it's not this one, though. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's the southern one. The, the super south one, I think. Well, this oh, one no, just no, no, fired. that one that just fired. Yeah. No, all right, so it's not that one. Maybe it is that one. Yeah. We'll I'll find out when it gets destroyed. Yeah. I have a feeling it's not, but it could be. Well, Battle Bus from Fargo. Big double. Doesn't get the. It doesn't get the Scud Storm though. No. It does open it up though. So it still has this attack. corner base that he's using to attack from. Ten seconds. Oh, he's retreating. Looking to defend. Scud Storm. Scud Storm. Fargo ready. Scud okay. Storm for Vivid ready. It's not this one. This one. That's launch and launch double. Are they going to intercept each other? <coughs> Scud's just hitting each other in the air. Oh, he's doing it again. Ah. He. Again, doesn't get the pallets. He gets like an arms dealer maybe yeah. and a supply. It wasn't very good. Yeah. Oh, and the Scud Storm. Did he fire the Scud Storm here? You got the pallets? Uh, yeah, must have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the damage. Yeah, it has to have done, right? Got the pallets? How damaged is the other Scud Storm? About halfway. Yeah, so it must have done. Okay, interesting. Arms dealer's a bit weak. Who's up next? Alright, so Fargo's got another one ready. And there's still a minute on the follow up from Vivid. 
Four against two is what's keeping Fargo in this game. Like, we could use them a little bit better. Maybe he should play more of the general's challenges to like work out how to use weapons. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's all those, those challenges yeah. are. You yeah, just like build, like, up, you super build up super weapons and use them, yeah, and spam them. Alright, another launch from Fargo. Does he finally destroy the- like this would- now it oh, would be good. This must mean it. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Which does kind of clear the path for an attack. Yeah. Yeah, opens up quite nicely. Great battle bus position. It does that oh, damn right, well, it's still that battle bus is alive. Yeah, brutal. Super worth. Hear that? No, no, hear that. A lot of black market starting to fall, so we're losing a lot of economy here, Vivid. This has been a very, uh, very close game. That's Down it. to the wire. Yeah. Scudstorm getting hit by these buggies. But so far, he's been able to defend it pretty well. Anthrax bomb. There must be another Scudstorm that just fired, right? Ten seconds on the clock. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah, there is one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And doesn't really get much. He just kind of gets his boot into the holes. Oh, GG. GG. Well, that was abrupt. Um. Um. <laughs> that was abrupt. Uh. <laughs> I like honestly don't know who who won that game. Be I think it's Fargo. The South player won. Yeah, yeah right. Must, must. Like four Scud storms. He just lost all the black market. Yeah, he did lose all his black market. Vivid it wasn't his... obvious who won that though. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Love Andy Climb acting vanishes. Where the shoutcasters don't even know because like it's probably more obvious from a player player perspective. But from a shoutcaster perspective, that game is not obvious who won that. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and save Fargo. Oh man, I don't know if I have yeah. it in me to do this other GLA mirror. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it, dude. We're all over it. Alright, okay. Fargo's up north, Vivid South up. We're assuming Fargo won. I mean, like, he had yeah. the, the Spurious Gunstorm count. Gunstorm from Vivid wasn't great. Vivid just lost a bunch of black markets. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's a pretty okay. safe assumption. Um, could be wrong, but... but it, it was like the the throwaway scans, the throwaway black, throwaway Scudstorm. Mm. You know you're gonna lose, but you're like... You still wanna watch You, you wanna throw too. your Scudstorm... Before you quit. Yeah, it's reasonable. It, so, yeah. so then you, what you do by scudstorming your opponent is you, you you try to negotiate for better surrender terms. <laughs> because then they're taking all this damage, yep. they're, they're a little more desperate yep. to sign that peace treaty. <laughs> hey, worth it, if it worked for the Americans, so. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Do you think the nukes were. Ethically justified. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that a good question for a GLA mirror? Ethically justified. There's a big question. I think that it was the correct decision. I don't think you can justify it. That, I think it was that the That sounds decision. like the same thing to me. Mm. The correct decision and ethically justified are the same thing, right? Oh, he did use the demolitions upgrade again. Or ability. I think. I don't think the. Yeah. Uh, this I can't shout cast and handle ethical dilemmas at the same time, Gallop. This really looks so, yeah. like he's pissing over you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that just like perfectly framed? He's actually repairing this. This is really nice use of this worker. Oh, it crushes the the rebel. Doesn't get the capture. It crushes the repairing worker as well. So great start from Vivid. Um, Vivid's trying to punch this rebel with the worker. It's not quite working though. For reinforcements, nice. Yeah, technicals do a pretty good job there, so. Oh, we missed this, they almost got the demo trap. Does Vivid have the capture upgrade on his workers? I mean, he must be right, like, <laughs> what he's playing. Oh man, Vivid has had some monster crushes. Yeah, big crushes. This I mean, one, that, that one finished. Yeah, that one finished, yeah. but still. Um, he has a good map. Fargo control. walled off? Yeah, he's walled off. Okay. Yeah. This could be a very short GLA game. Yeah, yeah. It is the weird thing about GLA mirrors is that they, they can be very lethal because of like workers worker yeah. crushes to technical they, they can <sighs> Fargo dot the cat nice really good good play might deny this tunnel clear the garrison yeah, it keeps him in the game for sure oh, he's gonna get the cool garrison as well oh big play oh sick play that was such a good play 
Oh, it's so it worth by Vivid, like, to, to deny the garrison. That was really good. Doesn't doesn't save the rebel, unfortunately, but... Um, does it really have anything... Oh, man. Oh, technically kill each other. Out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Still no cap no capture on, yeah. on the central I mean, the, the important thing was definitely denying the central tower. Like, yeah, 100%. That was a good play. Too late to deny this one. Yeah. This is probably not a terror tech, though. Oh, it's a rebel. No, oh, it's just a rebel. He gets killed by the toxin. Another, another technical here looking for some crushes. Again, denies the tunnel, but the oil has already been captured. Yeah. Well, a nice forward tunnel from Vivid that might allow him to take the, the old Eric back. Orcs is the barrack cell. Again, you've got one and a fake, so it doesn't really matter, but it's still good. Fargo has more technicals, I would say, at the moment, but Vivid's definitely been playing this better. Um, still has control over the Nord, so he's got more income at the moment. His map control was, oh, like, yeah. about the same, but again, yeah, like, having control of this right-hand side and the double oil, if you can get that, if you can... I mean, he has a rebel here, so he really needs to get out and capture that oil. Um, the, and the refinery. Yeah, and the, and the refinery and the arty platform, and, yeah. Less players have a handshake deal not to capture arty platforms. It's annoying. Um... <laughs> Toxin tunnel. Uh, oh. I was gonna say, yeah, he uses contaminate. It's so sick. You see that so rarely. Yeah. Yeah, firewall is so much better than contaminate. Yeah. I can see it coming too because of how close he was driving. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's sweet. So yeah. Now vivid. Um. Oh, he's losing his oil in the corner, and there's actually a, a tunnel here as well. Yeah. So he has lost his his complete kind of map dominance, but he has a lot of scorpions. And now here come the demo bikes. Oh, big one! It's it's two. Okay, not I have no idea how Pygo got control over that southern garrison. He must have rolled a toxin tractor in there. He probably. Yeah, I don't know. It's possible. Anyway, possible. Awesome. All right, second oil up and. On the uh, on the middle has been captured. That's good. Doesn't need to get the refinery done. It's really important. Rebel head looking over there now. The, uh, cost deduction is great. Yeah, Vivid must have way more income. Oh yeah, he does. And and like a bunch of Fargo's money. I'm pretty sure he's still got like three or four technicals as well. So a bunch of it isn't scorpions. Like rockets already done. I haven't even seen a scorpion from Fargo, let alone rockets. Yeah, look at all these technicals. Man, ah, oh, he's just getting hard counted. It's nasty. He must have. Two arms dealers, three arms dealers. Wow, oh, yeah, it's brutal. He's playing this game of yeah. zero out like it's a game of StarCraft. You just keep yeah. building more more factories, more factories. siege tanks. Yeah. Production is so on point. Like he's on three scorpion production, like against the counter here is demo bikes from Fargo, which makes sense. You can't make up this kind of deficit. Mm -hmm. Um just by building scorpions, so uh, I like the demo bikes. He's gonna have to get like three scorpion connections though to, to get to make this game better and he gets a three scorpion connection. Sorry for cast this curse and you did it. Um Well he also got like three RPGs. Yeah as RPGs well. at the same time. Yeah he's gonna oh, go again. He gets another two like plus RPGs. I think it's a really good decision from Fargo. Um, the bikes are amazing defensively especially when you know these these scorpions are already stacked up. This is just gonna get one really good splits here. Oh, still finds two <laughs> brutal! Like the only two in the whole area. Oh. Nasty, man. This um, game, this has just turned into a demo bike montage. Yeah, it has. With this being said, there's a lot of scrap on the ground. So, um, oh man, is that Fargo's Jarman? Oh, he went here, he, he found the time to go tech. Oh, and he's denying the supplies too. Like the scrap for the scorpions, it's so nasty. Man. Fargo's playing this defensively so well. I was gonna say like, the problem is like leaving that much scrap, right? Like you leave that much scrap, you're you're essentially loading up like a scorpion with double rockets is almost as good as two scorpions. Um, so leaving all that scrap on the ground is a problem, but like Fargo denies a bunch of it, gets the cash from it, snipes a bunch of workers. You know what we haven't seen in a long time? We haven't seen a nice double scrap marauder. Vet three double scrap marauder. Yeah, double scrap marauders are, are what's up. Those are okay. Okay, this this is where Fargo needs to transition. When you when you start taking out individual scorpions with demo bikes, it's not worth anymore. Um, not worth your time. Not worth the micro commitment. Um, so I really would like to see him either start you know going for some tech options. He obviously has a palace, um, so getting some buggies out would be nice. Anything along that line would be cool. Vivid's chilled in the aggression a lot too. 
Wow. So he hasn't dealt with the uh, the southern oil control from Fargo, which is a good amount of his income. Yeah, Fargo's having a really nice comeback. Yeah, it's I'd, awesome, dude. I yeah. don't know if he can maintain it, but until now it's looked pretty impressive. Yeah, has he seen... though just has just too much income. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Vivid's complete. Still Vivid's game to lose. Um, yeah, he got it. Hey. <laughs> Yay, Toxin Tunnel. Yeah, very much movement to game didn't lose, but uh Yeah, Fargo's in with a good chance because he's played so well defensively. Our base is in battle! Yeah, Fargo just GG's. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Despite his best demo bikes. Um... I think it was worth a yeah, I don't know. Quick, quick surrenders. These games, mm -hmm. isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. like, yeah, it's it's like right on the tipping point. Um, so I'm guessing Fargo just like didn't have the, didn't feel like he could he could overcome the the cash deficit. And I think with the tech, he was looking pretty Whoa. good, but that's all right. Forest of Camelot. Wow, this is a new map for us. Cool. Well, now we have China Inf. China Inf versus GLA, so. I'm glad to see it. Do they have to enter the forest where it's darkest? <laughs> it looks darkest to them, so... I mean, it's a pretty bright forest. Yeah, it's I mean, a pretty bright forest, yeah. Not a lot of dark spots. Arrig, supply... Supply, supply... It's like Camelot with bitumen, so it's fun. Yeah. Oil... Single yeah. oil derrick. Yeah, you know? in the middle, that's interesting. Um, Oh, and some supplies, so yeah, that makes it a little bit more worth. Um, yeah, interesting map. So you'll probably see our players start building docks this game. <laughs> <given> the, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> given the amount of water that we see, so... And then they'll, they'll get their yeah. um, their attack dolphins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Attack yeah. squid. Oh, very quick airfield. That's not... That's not the dock. You can't build boats for that unit. Yeah. I think well done. there's a lot of mods where you can build boats. Yeah. Because they're all in the campaigns. Yeah. Naval combat's usually pretty bad in RTS games, though. But this is um, something. There's something about the like fantasy yeah. of having this like, big true. battleship yeah. that's like yeah. kind of innately cool. Even if usually there isn't really an interesting like micro or anything. Okay, this is uh, it's probably like it, it's, it, it'd be cooler if there was like something like death based. Okay. The Helix is on the move. I don't know if the technical scouted it. Yeah, he's starting to put quads. Yeah, quads are coming out. So. Um, although that might have just been coincidence. Yeah, another quad. He's got two quads and a couple of RPGs. Uh, this could be a very quick game. Oh my god, this Helix gets the dies, quad. The he evacs. Uh, I don't well, know about the evac. Losing the Helix on its own isn't too bad because he might get the the arms dealer. If he gets the arms dealer, he's okay. Uh, quads coming in. Quads. Yeah, okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's enough damage. And he's super weak now, but assuming he can defend at home. Oh, the dead. terrorist. Is there no yeah. minigunners? No, there's, there's no. There's not a not single no, minigunner no, here. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's all tank hunters. Oh, yeah. that tank hunter's gonna yeah. get wrecked. Though, they are the, s the same movement speed, but it's yeah. bought so much time. He needed one minigunner here, and that would have made a massive difference. Uh, he's just splitting up. And just gonna target fire now. Yeah, it's a fake building. barracks yeah. though. Get two here. Yeah. But that's bought a lot Might of time. He's he's got another arms deal on the way. Yeah. Um, I think I think Vivid's still okay. Um, this second helix has to do damage as well, and it's giving Fargo like when it's unsuccess uh, when it's unsuccessful like this has been, it gives the GLA player a lot of time to spread out. Um, yeah. There's just a ton of tunnel that works going down across the map. Supply stash gonna it's gonna stay alive. I think the terrorist yeah, gonna get terrorist all of them. Is gonna get everything. I think. Yeah, he's gonna stay alive. Wait, no. What is he doing? Bro, oh. he's, he's eating the kebab. Oh, oh there he goes. Kebabs. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a save. He could have saved that for yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Although he did only kill three of the of those tank hunters, but wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. Anyway, um, um, there is actually a stinger site. Um, so a little bit of oh a couple stinger sites so a little bit of anti-air around yeah. the map 
Going for the oils is a nice choice here for me, but I don't think you can tunnel hunt. Um, there's just too many quads on the field for him to tunnel hunt, but at least denying the, the oil caps um, can be nice. Oh, yeah, so this, this is, is a stealth tunnel. Real bad. He's yeah. GLA's vanilla, yeah. and he actually he built, built the stealth, stealth upgrade, yeah. and that's so sick. So brutal. Yeah. Um, that's probably game. I think he only got that upgrade because he's playing against aircraft. Yeah. Against those, those helixes, having that stealth is really good. Yeah, invisible quad pops. Feels bad, man. No war factory. Yeah, a little late on the war factory, so the quads should be able to clean up. Yeah, the airfield's going down here, and with that, it should be the game. Um, yeah, good, good try. Oh, oh we helix. have one more helix. Yeah, okay. That's right. Yeah, I thought we are out of helix. That's good. Mini gunner a day keeps the RPGs away, you gotta remember that, so. Keeps the terrorists away? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, RPGs being the problem at the moment, so. Yeah, three of them is, is the, the sweet spot. Three quads a day keeps the assault helix away? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, he loses German the airfield. Yeah, the helix is gonna go down. Oh, what did he RPG get? Too. Well, he was, because of the angles, yeah, he took way more quad damage than he should have there. Um, he wasn't running away um, directly, he was running right indirectly, trying to get back to base. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so now we do have some War Factory units. Maybe a little late. There, there is one minigunner in here though. Is there something going on in the middle as well? Or is that all just? Okay, it's just a capture. Okay, minigunner gets a couple of captures. Cash in the back of the but he does have War Factory production, is what I'm saying. Mm, can't save his supply. Nah, it's going down. There's the secondary one. It's mined up. CC, but we're too early for anything interesting. Very intense game so far. Yeah, a lot of these old Derricks have been destroyed. Yeah. Um, is that all of them on the map? They've all been destroyed. Pretty much. Yeah, they all cleaned up. And Apart from this got one. The rest of them, so yeah. Hmm. Not a lot of tunnels on the map. There's some here. Some he No, not even a tunnel, just a supply. Or yeah. here, there's a tunnel. Yeah, one. Carpet bomb. Oh, uh, nice tech terror. It gets the oil. Yeah, really good tech terror. Okay, Let's see if this carpet bomb does anything. It's a really early 3 star from, from Vivid. So, carpet bomb has launched. Okay, good amount of workers. I think that's a good target. It does need to slow down the production from Fargo. But all the carpet bombs gonna get done at this stage of the game. I think he sold this supply, right? Because yeah. there was a supply there. Yeah, he did. Well, he cancelled it, and then definitely saw a cancel. So the Arty Strike's gonna come in. It seems like it's gonna be a bit late, so it should kill the supply, but I doubt it's gonna do anything to the arms still. Oh. Oh. Trying to get both? Oh. Mm, yeah, I don't know, man. You got repaired a fair bit. Yeah, level one Arty Strike. This timed with a carpet bomb. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Um. Okay, so advancing forwards on the on the top of the map, north of the map. Oh, nice bunker. Yeah, really nice bunker. It's up and vivid. I like this aggressive supply. Is there any, like he can contest the supply from Fargo at the same time? Like, playing a defensive game is not going to work here from Vivid, so I really like that. Oh, he's long distance mining. That's smart. Doesn't build another supply. It'd be super vulnerable. Um, You're not a lot of supplies left. Yeah, yeah. I think that's super worth just to send individual supply trucks over to get it. So this is good. I think the base of Vivid is really exposed, though. He could get hit by a tech terror. Yeah, I mean, I think you kill the power here as Fargo, right? Like, you know he's super exposed. Um, okay, yeah. Well, one minigun of this the Yeah, yeah, one, so one terrorist probably isn't going to cut it, but... Yeah, I mean, the tech terror on the power, I think, just to slow down the production would be really good. You certainly no mines are an option, so that could be a consideration from from Fargo has scouted out some of the mines coming down from Vivid, so it could be assuming that all of these individual buildings are mined up. Is sending a worker up, so that could be a tunnel, or it could be a minesweeper, I don't know. Yeah, at the moment it's looking like a tunnel, but oh, it gets spotted by Vivid really nice. The truck's found him. Yeah, so he doesn't need to climb a tree here. He doesn't <laughs> want to get run over. Oh, no. Truck's kind of trees, apparently. Uh, That's not going to work. Um, oh, sending a dozer through the middle. Yeah. Big push from the south here for Fargo. Quads. Lots of stuff going on. Yeah, we're seeing action all over the map. Mm. 
Oh, nice defensive firewall. Yeah. Yeah, Quads are going to have to back off from that. They don't have a way to deal with that. Now, we haven't had... Oh, uh, here we go. There's the prop center, because getting some Inferno cannons would be really nice to fire over the supply and mm -hmm. just burn mm -hmm. these workers. But a Scud Storm! S scud Launcher. S sorry, Scud Launcher. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I knew that's a general point, right? Because he's vanilla. So uh, yeah, to, that's to work, man. That. Like, yeah, yeah. This is definitely a siege situation. I, I like the scud launcher a lot. Like, to take out the bunkers. Plus, they, like they one shot all the mines. So. Um, yeah, and they're good against these outposts. Yeah. Okay, middle supplies. Hmm, this is a really interesting map. Up a bomb. Good try. Um, takes it takes out one tunnel, but there's two yeah. more. So it's either go aggressive here or like. Or it's kind of not worth. Um, he's going to go aggressive and try and clean it up. That's good. So. Otherwise, yeah, would have been would have been better. Oh, it's got skull, it's got yeah, he's going to get dodged. Going to get dodged. Yeah, it's okay. nice, nice. Oh man! Oh, rough. he dodged into the terrorist. Oh, nasty. Really good play. He um, baited him to run forwards, in which case there was yeah, a terrorist. That's gross. So, really nice play. It's got launches. You don't really see them much. I think mostly just because it's a general's point. And because buggies are so good. Mm. With buggies, uh, they're not great against invisible outposts. Whereas the scud launches, you can just attack ground. Yeah. Love a defensive firewall. Yeah, who needs base defenses when you have flame tanks? Man, another airfield, really? Yeah, it's yeah. for these scud launches. He might want yeah. um, MIGs. I guess. Yeah, I mean, it'd have to be, right? Like, yeah. Though, it looks like it's going to be another Helix, because look at all these troops. I mean, oh, maybe yeah. it's because he's got all this stuff. Oh, no, they, they could just be heading for that outpost, so I guess that's fine. Man, great play from Vivid staying in this game. <laughs> yeah. Like serious trouble, oh. man. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a quick one when that, when that first Helix kind of went down. Mm. And then the second helix went down. <laughs> and then the third helix, third helix went, went down. down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, German snipe. Yeah, you think after after a few of those that that might be it, especially with the airfield getting sniped. Oh, he's gonna but... cap this dragon tank. Yeah, it's oh, pretty nasty. Oh, he can burn a lot of stuff. Everything goes down here. There's enough defensive tank hunters inside of that bunker that you know maybe he can micro around with that. Pretty exposed gun launchers. Do we have mix? Oh. Scud launcher entering melee range. Yeah. Um, so then you can, it is MIGs, you, you yeah. Can, you can poke them with the missiles. If you do that, <laughs> so yeah. It's two MIGs, right, to a, to a Scud launcher, so. Uh, I, th I think so. Yeah. Cool. Count all the quads. Sure yeah, he's pulled like, it back. Yes. Yeah. Look at this positioning. Look how hard it is to get to that Scud launcher. Okay, a bit of a run by with these outposts. Only a fake black market. Uh, there's a Jarman here as well, can snipe the ECM. I think he's on cooldown though. Gets revealed as well. Oh, nope, gets the snipe. Firewall, too slow. Yeah, that's right. You can just recap it. It's not a big deal here from Vivid. A lot of spare units. Okay, Dragon Tank takes a little damage. Carpet Bomb's gonna take out the Scud launcher, almost gets the Jarman. Yeah, um, the, there was a tech terror attempt on the outpost at the same time. That was oh, he's revealed zero mini- Zero oh, no. mini gunners! Actually, there must have been one. I think there must was have one. Been one. Yeah, 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 he got... Up, so. Whoa! Again, the melee range Scud launcher yeah, didn't, yeah. Just didn't quite pay off. Oh, yeah. terrorist. That's a better melee unit. Tough army to deal with. Three outposts and an ECM. A lot of recap potential here. So Jarman, you know, obviously not very useful. We haven't seen much more tech out of. Okay, Artie Fargo. Strike. Oh, it gets the tunnel. Nice. There was one terrorist. There sells off the palace. Sells off his whole base. Everything getting sold off. Wow. All right, this is his new base now. He still yeah. has all his his units. Just lost his buildings. These MIGs are having a hard time finding an angle. I don't think we've seen a single no, MIG fire. Right. No, I, haven't, I haven't seen anything yet. So. I have one. Yeah, 
the outposts have a, uh, have a, have a two scar launcher kill count at the moment. <laughs> they take out RPGs, it's not really good. And the quads can probably finish yeah, them off they're gonna, on the ground. Yeah, they're, he's gonna lose them on the airfield here. World's saddest mix. Targeting, yeah, airfield's gonna go down here. These quads are going to be caught, but it's super worth to take out the Migs in the airfield. That's very worth it. Okay, Fargo's rebuilt down south, actually, rather than up north. Hmm. Yeah. It's going to take out the supply. There must be not a lot of income for Vivid. He has these this middle supplies, yeah. and that's all. Did he mine out the back? His base. This Gone one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Fargo's mining both very comfortably. Quads are getting cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, they were always going to get caught, but. Oh, free dozer? No free dozer. That's right. CC here anyway. Not a big deal. I don't know, rebuilding that supply if that's the game plan. This is all of his income. This is his own yeah. income. Oh no, well there's this, but... You can send a truck along just It's mine, pretty, yeah, but it's pretty far away and there's only yeah. 2,000. I think it's probably worth a trap. The yeah, gentleman revealed again. You know, it's just a bit of cash holder and takes out a oh, few more carpet units. bombs. I don't think it's going to quite get him, but... Uh, close. Charmer gets in. Takes refuge in the tunnel. Now, it did wound the Stinger site considerably. Yeah. Sells off the supply. Yeah, just going to abandon this position. I'd like to see him bail out with these workers here. Um, there's no reason for them to stick around without a supply. It would have been good to see him evac a tunnel somewhere and just bail the workers. Doesn't really need them, I guess, looking at the south. Hmm. Yeah, so... Vivid has no income, but Fargo doesn't really have any units. He's got a Jarman, though. Like, yeah. right? like so, so, for every time that Vivid pushes in, he loses a ton of income um, to like, so he loses about three tank hunters. Yeah, like now. Two to a Jarman snipe and one to a recap. Like, yeah. Oh, the terrorists. Oh. Is there a minigunner in there? He gets one of them. Oh, the dozer. No. Oh no, the terrorists I had a cap. He actually should have gone for the yeah. trucks instead. Trucks would have been better. Yeah, targeting the income would have been better. If it would have had a hard time replacing that. He has a forward barracks, so he can start to recruit these outposts. They are a little, a little empty. They're about half full. Yeah, one's full. One's oh, that one's full, and these yeah. are these are a little. Yeah, Jarvan's been keeping them very busy. Oh, I guess the minigunner. Yeah, it's. it's but there's another yeah, one. There was like four units, I think, lost. Yeah, at the moment, people just has no way to deal with Jarman. They don't take some one misstep, though, with that being said. Like, when they're up this close, it's impossible. There's not multiple oh, lanes. Terrorists. Yeah, the minigunner gets him. Nice. There are, yeah, there's not um, Jarman, sorry, again? multiple like, lanes of tunnel networks where he goes. So. Oh, there's no tunnel, so the Jarman can't oh, evac. No, Jarman, what is he, are you Is doing? he going to hop in the, the, the yeah, tower? Yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. Okay, but he should be able to just take out the outpost, take yeah. the, the, the little building thing. Because yeah. there's detection on these outposts, yeah. and I'm pretty sure there is a mini here. Snipe's almost up, I'm pretty sure. He's gonna get hunted, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get run down. No! Keep going, keep going, keep going! It's super worth! It's super worth! Like, that's the only thing, that's one of the only things keeping Fargo in this game. Like, hunting the drama is 100% worth. I don't know why he's still here. Yeah, he gets another snipe. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, fully cleaned it out. out? Out of recap units? Um, there's one unit. Oh, man. And he needs, he, and he needs, needs like, it. for detection. I hope it's a minigunner. Yeah, I hope it's, uh, it's going to be a very sad outpost. Yeah. It's a minigunner! Yay! Got him down! Good Oof. job, minigunner. Right. Okay. Good job, Vivid. Right. I'm really glad he chased the Jarman. That was super important. If he let the Jarman get back, he was, yeah, super screwed. Yeah, there is a um, palace, so he can rebuild it. Um, but also now, Vivid is mining. He actually has his own economy. Yeah, he's back got up. cash, man. Like, I want to see him use these barracks. Like, why is he not building a ton of minigunners and like and tank hunters to to throw back inside of uh, outposts? Yeah, three thousand yeah. dollars cash. But this is a pretty good attack force. 
Four quads, two scud launchers, and a. Oh, there's an it's EMP. An it's, it's oh, it's massive. so yeah, close. He's gonna, nail it. he's gonna nail everything. It's so close to the map, yeah. the edge of the map, so he gets everything. Yeah, it's he gets, doesn't get one scud launcher. That's about it. Um, there's one outpost follow up. That's scud launcher. Plenty. Actually, make it the outpost. Oh, he's not moving. Oh, oh this is the outpost. That's right. All the units are still alive. Okay, he needs to make sure he finishes these off. Yeah. I only bugged out for a little bit, so... Nice. Very clutch EMP. Yeah, really good EMP. Also, really clutch Jarman snipe. Oh, the worker might actually snipe get the, the cap here. No! Oh, somehow that Scud Launcher didn't kill the worker. Yeah, the, He's just stolen a dragon yeah, tank. dragon tank cap. That's pretty major. And now it's actually Vivid who has the better income because Fargo is out of, almost out of cash. Yeah. There is no supply strike. here. Yeah, Artie Strike's coming in, maybe... Hey, where is it going? Supply? Oh, this is a supply. I didn't recognize it from that, that, that rotation. Okay. What a nice game. Yeah, really cool game. I think Vivid can pull this off. Now, we haven't seen any general's powers from Fargo, but he doesn't have a command center, so we can't use yeah, Anthrax can't Bomb, uh, Scrambler, Sneak Attack. What this score four star general? Sorry? He's also scored four star general. How do you know that? Huh? Oh, it says there, is yeah. it? Yeah. Four XP. Oh, that's cool. I was gonna say because I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, it's on the side. GG. Okay, yeah, that one man. was a little easy to understand. Yeah, <laughs> unless we know who won that one. That was well, good. Well, also, it yeah. has like the game over screen. I'm pretty yeah. sure in the previous games, it, it just immediately booted us to the score screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a really nice game. That was, a, that was a good one. Great comeback by Vivid, wow. Mm -hmm. That was, yeah, it was really well played. You just had too big of an army. Yeah. Uh, Fargo couldn't really deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, Fargo didn't put the pressure on when he needed to, which is before those outposts got mm -hmm. filled up and started being used. And then he started using the Jarman too late, so mm -hmm. for that to be a factor, so. I like the Scud launcher idea. Yeah, yeah, that worked pretty well. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, game number four of this semi-final series between Vivid and Fargo, it's Vivid. South of the forest of Camelot is the GLA Vanilla. Yep. And Fargo is now the China Imp. And we had a really awesome game previously. Yeah. I wonder if it was an airfield, because it was a pretty um, bold strategy. R rushing airfield is always pretty high risk, high reward. And, but especially in a GLA matchup, mm. it's, it's usually even riskier because it's pretty often for them to have quads and RPGs anyway, whereas like, maybe in a China mirror it's a bit less common. Okay, sending a truck out. Yeah, nice. the crushers, this is good, yeah. yeah. This, this is why I really like seeing the faction swaps, because you see how the different players play the same factions differently. Um, no truck in the middle, but there is a mini gunner, and that makes sense, because he can go for the capture upgrade. I don't know if he is though, I mean, I assume he is because there's an outpost, there's, there's an oil that's very yeah. close. Uh, you don't have the time, right, if you're going for a bunker leaks. Like, oh, he's going bunker leaks. Oh, first, God. so yeah. 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 I think once he... Once you've got the units. Yeah, then you, you go get for the capture it. upgrade, yeah. Yeah. He might be going for it now. Actually, I haven't seen anything out of the barracks for Is a that, little bit. That worker's hidden. <laughs> and without, what worker? <laughs> without a mini-map, um, it would be impossible yeah. to spot this. Mm. So this truck doesn't actually... Do a lot. He he delays this this the tunnel, I suppose. Yeah. But and also scouts the like the RPGs in the terrace inside of the and deck. a stinger side. So he must yeah. he's so he's predicted. It's good knowledge. Yeah. Wow. And he knows not to send the helix to the stinger side. Yeah. Maybe here. Knowledge. I don't think he's seen this, but he knows that yeah. at least this place is defended. Right, yeah. He's looking for the technical. It's actually already past this point. That is what he was looking for. Wait. Where are you going, bro? Is he going to try and avoid the Stinger side? Oh, he goes there. straight into the quad. Okay. Doesn't take any Stinger damage, but this quads have done a lot. He gets an evac. Oh, he's going to evac, right, okay, and then bail. Um, okay, loses the helix. So I guess the plan was to bail the whole time? Like, I mean, it's pretty well-rounded infantry core, right? Yeah, he can take out a lot of quads with this. A little late with a retarget, so he will lose some tank hunters, yeah. but still. Oh, but those retargets were sick. They were perfect retargets on the quad, so. I don't know what this worker is doing. He started micro-targeting again. Okay, he's repairing it, so the arms dealer may survive no, it's here. Gonna die. 
You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, Aquan's about to come out, but I'm pretty sure it goes down before that happens. Alright. Oh wow, he gets a really tight turn and retarget. And at least two RPGs oh, will be taken up full, and now the work for now. Oh no, he survived it, but yeah, he was can... wrong. Oh, yeah. It was close though. It was close, yeah. I, uh, uh, and there's a technical here. Yeah. Okay, so saves the arms dealer, which is pretty major. It seemed like a weird play to me though, because he saw that there was a stinger site yeah. and that there was a quad here. Yeah. I think the right the play there was actually to ignore the last quad and try and kill the arms dealer. Um, I don't think. Okay, <laughs> round it. two. Yeah, I don't think he finishes it either way. But well, the arms um, dealer is wounded, but there's still more quads. Yeah. yeah um, two quads and like the stinger site really limits mobility. Yeah. But he might oh, be the arms destroyed. dealer. Is that a palace? This. This yeah. is a barracks. Oh, it was a barracks. Okay, so, right. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's fine. Okay, he actually keeps the helix alive. That would be good if he can if he can keep it. Yeah. And then just refill it with infantry. Another technical here for technical some crushes. Technical, technical. Oh, yes, just in time. Oh, but it's full of oh, terrorists. Terrorists, man. Nice. Brutal. Must have been expecting that again. Okay, another quad goes down. See, this is not terrible trades for Fargo. They're not great because he didn't kill the arm stiller, but they're not terrible. Yeah, and Vivid's getting the oils, getting tunnels, yeah. so he's doing better in this trade. But it's at least... like we didn't actually see the capture upgrade for Fargo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, um, yeah, it's a big deal. Two helixes. It was nice that he kept this helix alive. He can refill that one fairly easily. He still has the income to do so. This tunnel is a really nice deny. Because there's a lot of quads, and so the quads could pop and take out a helix. Yeah, it's really nice catch. Good job. It finishes, but it's too weak. Yeah, it's too late. Would have been a mistake. Okay, it's close tunnel network also gets denied. So yeah, the helixes certainly can't fight anything heads up, and they can't hunt tunnels, at least completed tunnels anymore. Um, so they are some sense a bit of a useless unit, but they will be really effective at, at defending any uh, small pushes coming in. Oh, these quads are really far away from a tunnel. Oh no, there's more, no, there's quads, more quads though. Yeah, he's got more. Uh, really bad targeting though. Really from bad Viv targeting. is splits the target between oh, two. So he does get uh, one helix one. though, but he... Oh, he's not finishing the tunnel off. He's, he's retreating. Yep. Wow. Are the other oh the other quads aren't even bailing, dude. They're going on the offensive. They're like going to the base. He must have been worried about there yeah. being another back tunnel full of mm. um full of quads. Or a stealth tunnel. This <laughs> this this helix is too low. It can't really engage. Nah, there's no way against like four quads. No chance. And this tunnel now has completed, so he can uh, evac a lot of quads. I'm hoping there are workers behind this quad push, and that we see a tunnel network in the north go down to move it after the last one got denied. Yeah, it's a little bit too far back. There's a worker up there with no tunnel network. It's a nice firewall, but he lost his oil, Derek. Yeah, listing outpost only the two tank hunters, so that gets denied. I mean, surely not. Half health, right? Like This quad's way too low. Yeah, this is not a good fight. Like uh, there's gonna be yeah, there's gonna sorry, be the guaranteed, guaranteed there's, there's more quads oh. inside of that that garage. Oh like, didn't tunnel. evac, he was very close to evac. Yeah, that's a bad play. Yeah. Um, Almost got the evac there and he would have he would have taken out the supply, but uh, he does have a prop center now, so he can go, I guess, ECMs, but that's not going to help him against pure quads. Nah, he needs, like, he needs ECM outpost. Um, There's a Lotus for Lotus. caps. Okay. Lotus is good. There's still a lot of um, oils on the map. With that being said, it's, they're quite hard to get to, um, given the tunnel network placement. So. Just going to get captured back here by Vivid. Yeah, just in time. Okay. Big income advantage. The Lotus deals are going to be very important here. Not really any supplies in a good location for cash deals. There's nothing Lotus can really sneak to. It's going to be effective. Yeah, it's a shame you can't cash deal on an oil derrick. Yeah. Oh, there's a. The core. timing, dude! That's amazing. Oh that no. That was so good. Like, Vivid must have just been waiting for it. That was just like, yeah. Um, Lotus is really loud when she unpacks her laptop, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's the. If you're listening. She obviously yeah. hasn't been to enough LAN parties. No, I don't think she so. She needs to get the yeah. rhythm a little better. Yeah. Well, he knew that there was a Lotus because there was a capture in the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was waiting for the sound. So he was waiting for the sound cue on the oil, so. Which is really smart. Okay, 
so we've got the the same composition that we saw in the previous game, which is a bunch of outposts and an ECM, which is very dangerous. Um, palace tech here for, for the vision? Yep, palace uh, yeah. finishing so up now. Jarman, so. ECM goes down, so it does open up a bit of opportunity for the RPGs to punish. <laughs> Why are they just shooting well, this rainwater the tank? Well, the strongest this? water tower, dude. Like, yeah. Big rusty tank on wooden supports. Deals with, uh... Ah, uh, GG. Yeah, GG. Deals with, um, damage really well. Yeah, okay, tired. cool. Nice game from Vivid. Um, yeah, deal with the helixes. It's yeah. more how I expected the last game to go. It's like, lose that many helixes. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's sure. what... How I assumed that the game oh, would end, but yeah, the income difference is just massive here. If it's a pretty all-in play, right? Because if you kill the arms dealer, it's it's like really hard to rebuild the quads. Yeah, yeah, you can but you can chain the helix production, but um, and then you're stuck it. on RPGs. Yeah. So, um, on the the side of the GLA, so it's like it's a very worthwhile move. It just didn't end up panning out. Um, said, I don't know if um, still don't know if going for that arms dealer was the right call. Like, I, I, get, I get it, but I think once you see the like we mentioned, once you see the stinger, you just bail to do something else mm -hmm. um, with it instead. But yeah, uh, GG. Okay, GG. All right, well, we'll do a part two later on. Mm. Um, good to see you again. Pleasure, my friend. Yeah. Good to see all of you. Hope you enjoyed this GG video. We'll be back. We'll finish the series. We are good at that. So, see you soon. Yep. See ya.